Humanity is standing at the threshold of a monumental transformation, a shift in consciousness without precedent. At the very least, you probably sense this on some level, but if you've been paying attention, you can already see the changes beginning to unfold, and it's accelerating. More and more people are opening their eyes and reaching for the courage to stand up. It's still a struggle, like a child making its first steps. And in these early stages, as the wool is pulled from our eyes, what we see can be terrifying. There is a dark side, and it's been there for many generations, like a spider hiding in the corner of your basement. Now you're starting to see it for what it is, and that's the first step. The second step is to see yourself for what you really are, and to live up to your real potential. You are not below these men who claim to be your master. You were not born to bow your head or bend your knee. You were not born to live a life of debt and indentured servitude. You were not born to let others think for you or dictate your path in life. You are capable of so much more than this. But we're only going to get there if we stop living in fear and we take our power back. Contrary to what some would have you believe, we are legion and they are few. Their strength is our strength. Their wealth and power is nothing but the sweat of our own brow, and the only thing keeping us from reclaiming what is ours are the walls in our own minds. Some will do anything to protect those walls, and some of us have brought sledgehammers. But the awakening itself is bigger than this. It is driven by forces of causality that even those holding the reins of our political system are powerless to stop. And those walls are coming down one way or another. This is a time of transition. And this transition puts us on a collision course with the unknown, and there are very real dangers on our path. Our children and grandchildren are counting on us to get this right, and we've only got one chance. No one leaves this planet alive. No one. And you aren't taking anything with you. Not one penny, not one gadget, not one artifact of status or prestige. Death erases everything but the effect you've had on the lives of others. And this effect is only meaningful if you live for something bigger than yourself.